unprecedented challenge posed by the coronavirus. As we see the global response to this crisis unfold, we see two different responses, one in the developing world and one in the developed world. While in the developed world, the main dilemma is containing the coronavirus through lockdowns and then dealing with the economic impact. In the developing world, apart from containing the virus and the dealing with the economic crisis, our biggest worry now is people dying of hunger. So the dilemma on one side, stopping people dying from the virus. On the other hand, preventing deaths from hunger as a result of the lockdown. And the other problem we face in the developing world, there's a huge discrepancy in the resources available to us in the developing world and the resources available to the developed world. While the United States can come up with a relief package, a stimulus package of $2.2 trillion, and while Germany can come up with a relief package, a stimulus package of 1 trillion euros, and Japan $1 trillion, to give an example of Pakistan, with a population of 220 million people, so far the maximum we stimulus we could afford is $8 billion. And this is the issue with most of the developing world, especially developing world that is suffering with very high debt to GDP ratio. So these highly indebted countries, the problem they face now is a lack of fiscal space. They, we do not have the money to spend on already the overstretched health services, and secondly, to stop people from dying of hunger. Therefore, I will be appealing to the world leaders, to the heads of financial institutions, to the Secretary General of United Nations, to launch an initiative, an initiative that will give debt relief to developing countries to combat the coronavirus. Thank you.